Okay, so things should be working right now. Uh, wow, uh, I didn't think... did not know OBS would have that much of a fit today. Okay. Hello everyone, how's it going? And welcome to uh, what is probably going to be the finale for Kirby's Adventure because we only have like the second half of the game to go through. Um, what's weird is that I guess something happened uh, with my uh, with my internet and like OBS was like, all right, we're going to drop frames like every couple seconds. So couldn't have that. Uh, looks like everything is good now. So we can keep going with we can actually do the stream uh great jpeg and uh jimmy duke's uh str welcome i have a hard time there's a username uh, we had a new follower just as the stream started and i i have no idea where to begin with pronouncing your name so if you're in the chat hello welcome thank you for following i apologize i don't know if i should even give that an attempt <laughs> Next team you should get Imagine Party Babies. I have no idea what that is. Yeah, internet isn't perfect. Guess I'm gonna die now. <laughs> In Minecraft. But yeah, how, how's everybody doing today? Hopefully your day has been great. Uh, if not, hopefully the stream can be a little bit of an escape. I am. I messed with some audio settings to make sure that the streams are a little bit louder. I don't think it's working, though. <laughs> it, it's an issue that I've noticed that has come from, um, like, because lately I've been uploading, like, TikToks of, like, stream highlights of, like, little clips, and I don't really, I haven't really been, uh, like, they come out really quiet, and I remember it's from, like, some kind of setting that I have on my computer, so I've been messing with it. Hopefully it's a little bit louder. If not, then it'll be more reasonable when I uh, when I edit stuff. So that way I know I can use like YouTube videos or something as a reference for volume. Uh, what Kirby games have you played, and which one is your favorite? I've played Kirby's Adventure. I've played Dreamland. I've played Dreamland. No, no. I've yeah, I played Kirby's Adventure, Superstar, and Dreamland, and that's it. Oh, and um, the it's not like a golf one or something like that. I forgot what it's called. Like Dream Course. I played that one as well. Um, Dreamland is still my favorite just because it's the first one I played, and it's the one that I played both the normal and extra modes for. Kirby's Dream Course. Yeah, that's the one. I played that one, like, uh, had it on Nintendo Wii. Um, when they were porting their Super Nintendo games to Wii. So, I, I played a lot of it. So, um, I should probably mention this, but for video content, I know nothing came up this weekend. Uh, I added a little more to the script for Pokemon Legends Arceus, vid the video for Legends Arceus. So, uh, I'll be recording that after today's stream, but then... Uh, it should for sure be out this weekend. I'm going to work on it all day tomorrow. I'm going to do the voiceover later today. So uh, I'm very excited to get this video out and get it out to channel members first, then to everyone else after like two days or something. And then I'm going to finish the Mega Man video, get that out, finally get that marathon going so that way I can stop saying, I'll get it out soon, I'll get it out soon. You know, I finally want these videos out because I, I want to make these videos already. <laughs> it's just... Something kept getting in the way. Now it's like, all right, whatever it was, it's not in the way anymore. You need a 32x to play part of the game. <laughs> and your patrons too. Yeah, patrons. And also Twitch subscribers. So Twitch subs, YouTube channel members, Twi um, patrons all get access to it because it, you know, it all kind of funds the channel no matter what. <laughs> It's just, I don't advertise the Twitch channel stuff because I'm very inconsistent with Twitch. And it never, I, I don't know, it's just, it's weird. I still feel like I am inconsistent with Twitch, so. 
that's where we're at today. You don't see the sub button? It's fine, you're a patron, you're good, you don't need to. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask for like multiple, like different kinds of like stuff for that. And technically I should be a, or not a partner, but an affiliate. My sub button didn't go missing, I hope not. That'd be weird if it did. Be like, yeah, actually, we kicked you out of the affiliate because we don't like you or something. I don't know. Like, whatever. Oh, my, my affiliate thing should still be there. Oh, wait, no, that's kind of weird. Hold on. I mean, I should have it. It says that I have six Twitch subs. Check this out. This is, this is kind of weird. Do that. Go to the channel. Yeah, I know. It's got a thing for gifting subs. Alright. Gave me a scare for a moment. Oh, it could be iOS, yeah. I, I went it out on my phone to check as well. It's... On undisclosed phone that I can't because... <laughs> there, it's blurring out my phone like like it's... Product NDA. Can't talk about it. No, I'm just kidding. It's a uh, Galaxy S8. <laughs> uh, what are your thoughts on the fact that Mario, 8, uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is getting DLC if you haven't already covered it in a video? Sorry. Uh, no, I haven't covered it in a video. I don't know... Oh yeah, it could be a token thing. Um, yeah, I forgot about that. They have tokens for Twitch subs on mobile. Uh, don't do mobile. Don't do not do Twitch sub on mobile. If you have to go out of your way, go to the website because it's cheaper. Because I think a tier one sub on Twitch is like $7. But then if you're on the website, it's 5 as it should be. It's just Apple and I think Google as well require a 30% fee on any transaction that's done through their through an app on their store or that's um that can be downloaded from their store which is ridiculous but whatever uh that's why some pieces of software or some things are more expensive than others i've been going to the website requesting the desktop website on mobile for subs good call on that one uh as for the mario kart stuff i'm shocked <laughs> I was not expecting, like, new Mario Kart tracks for Mario Kart 8, so uh, when they start releasing, expect streams of it, because we're gonna play- I'm gonna play it for sure. And if you have it, feel free. Although, um, I was watching my friend Twip uh, stream for a little bit, and he did bring up something that I didn't even consider, how it could potentially, like, screw over the matchmaking for everyone who doesn't have the DLC. And it reminds me of a very similar situation with Call of Duty games such as like Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops and stuff like that, where um, if you if you don't have the specific maps uh, in those Call of Duty games, um, it's harder to find, or you only get the people who have like the standard maps. If you have the DLC, you also have to try to match make with people who have the DLC as well, and it's very difficult to do so. Although I think... Either World at War or Black Ops did a thing where they just boot you out if you don't have it, making like matchmaking a couple years down the line even more difficult. With this one, you can either pay for it, which is like 25 bucks, which is going to be my route of doing it, or you can go with the expansion pack uh, NSO subscription, which uh, unless you're cool with paying 50 bucks a year for it, or in my case, 80 bucks a year, um, or it would be my case if I was actually paying for it, um, I said no to that, and I just went with the uh, 35 a year for uh, just NES, Super NES, and basic online functionality. Like, if it's... If you feel that it's worth your money, go for it. Um, just know that matchmaking might be a little bit more difficult once these uh, tracks start releasing. Now we're gonna get, like, 48 of them, so there's no need for uh, Mario Kart 9, which is ridiculous, but whatever. It is what it is. Hey, you know what? More content. More content, and we don't have to pay for a full-price game. I think I'm cool with that. <laughs> I know a lot of people are like, Mario Kart 9, Mario Kart 9. I'm like, eh, that's whatever. Which in Mario Kart 8, Wii U, it lets you choose whether or not you want to use base tracks only, base plus DLC, pack 1, pack 2, pack 1 and 2. 
Yeah, and then I think those DLC packs were brought into Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So now the question is whether or not we're going to get a very similar option where we can go, uh, do you want the DLC waves or do you want to just go with uh, Deluxe, the base uh, maps for, or the base tracks for Deluxe? And if it has that option, then cool. You can host to whoever and be like, okay, we'll go base only so that way we can get more people to play. I am totally down with that if they're going to include that. But if not, then damn, Nintendo, really? So it's all... Um, we'll see when the first set of... The first wave of uh, map... Uh, I keep calling them maps. I'm, I'm, I used to play a lot of Call of Duty, so we call them maps. Um, but... Uh, I mean, it's like, it, it'll really mess up the matchmaking, but if they can get it right, if they can add that option, that's cool. Uh, did I see your message before that? Uh, which one? <laughs> They're gonna milk Mario Kart 8 for a long time. Yeah, they, they will. I mean, end of 2023. It's gonna be a lot of content. Uh, apparently the new tracks will appear randomly in the online thing. No need to buy it. Yeah, that is for the expansion pack. Oh, uh... It'll let you try the DLC without buying it. I really don't believe that. Then again, Game Explains the same uh, publication that tried doing the uh, the latency test with N64 and completely got it wrong. Ah! And they got owned for it. Yo, what's up? Um, okay, I'm gonna need to know how to say your name because it's. First off, welcome. Thank you. Hello. Uh, also, because I see your name and it's just intimidating as heck right now, and I don't even know if I want to try that. <laughs> 21XX is when Mario Kart 9. Oh, okay. I wonder if they'll just call it MK9, and so you can just really confuse Mario Kart and Mortal Kombat fans. Mario Kart X. <laughs> was it was? What? Man, that. I, I am so sorry, but that name is intimidating. I'm looking at him like... I don't know where to begin. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much for uh, coming by, and thank you for following earlier. I caught the uh, notification through uh, Stream Elements. Yeah, I have Expansion Pack, Family Plan, and need to get people to share it with, so I, I will already get the DLC. Alright, you know what? If you can justify it, that's fine. That's all. That's cool with you. You get uh, Animal Crossing DLC, you get the Mario Kart DLC when that releases, you have N64, you have uh, Genesis, that's cool. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is basically like the Switch itself, we'll have to wait for a successor, we'll have to wait for a successor to it for a long time. You know what, I agree. I think we won't see another Mario Kart until the next console generation. Unless they do, like, Mario Kart Deluxe Definitive Edition, and they just put everything on it on the next uh, generation platform, which would be a little much. You have the Sega Genesis NSO controller, too. I feel like that's a waste of money. I I'm, not, I'm not judging you for it. It's just, like, I don't understand the justification for getting a, uh, a wireless six-button controller when Comic Zone is on the uh, Genesis... Uh, library for NSO, and that's a six-button game. I have um, Retrobit actually has a uh, uh, what is it? They have like a six-button Saturn controller that I bought, and that thing is awesome. It even works for my Genesis Mini. The controller is three-button. Yeah, I will always recommend a um, Retrobit six-button Genesis or Saturn controller. Because it it'll connect through USB, it'll work with uh, the Genesis games, it'll work with, like, Sonic games, like, Mania and stuff. Uh, so, like, it has a lot of functionality. It can work on PC, it can work on, if you have a, a Genesis and you have the wireless Genesis controller, it has a dongle for that. Or if you have a Saturn, first off, awesome. And it also has, like, a dongle for Sega Saturn. So, yeah. Hey, the Dark Mor- uh, That Dark Morris, welcome! How you doing today? I have the N uh, SNES and NES controllers too. I would probably only get the SNES controllers because they look pretty sick. The NES ones, they look pretty goofy when you uh, when you put them on the sides of the console. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. You're doing pretty good, sweet. And then, um, actually, since we can talk about it, 
Uh, recently on the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog Twitter account, I know I don't really talk about Sonic too much anymore, but let's talk about it for a little bit. Uh, the third Sonic movie and a live action series for Paramount Plus has been announced like, what, like 30 minutes ago or something or 20 minutes ago? Somewhere around there. It's been announced like about a half hour ago. So more live action Sonic, more Sonic cinematic universe kind of stuff. Honestly, it'd be, I, I would, so the leak was true. It's an actual tweet. It's on the, it's on the Sonic uh, Twitter account. It's on the Paramount Plus Twitter account. So yeah, it's a real thing. Kind of comfortable playing handheld to NES controllers. I almost want to buy those controllers just to see how that is. But they're overpriced. I'd probably only pay that much for like, I don't know, the N64 and the Super Nintendo controller. But then again, I don't think I will pay for the N64 service anytime soon. Uh, that was a terrible first couple of months so far, and they're drip feeding games. Need stuff that's a bit more enticing. But yeah, it, it, it's a goofy idea, but it's also kind of a hilarious idea. It kind of reminds me of the virtual, the virtual boy where you have like the two D-pads. So it's it's wild. There was a leak before the Sonic TV show on Paramount Plus. It's based on the movie universe. Oh, okay. Well, the leak is true. Can you send a picture in the Discord? Yeah, sure. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to pull it up on stream though, because I don't think I have that proper window open. We'll see. <laughs> and then, um, I guess we can get into like stream related stuff. I. Well, okay, there's two things that are stream-related that I want to get into. One, uh, I'm looking into getting, like, commissioning emotes, so I'm going to talk to some friends and see if they can recommend anyone. I made the mistake of tweeting about it on Twitter, and I swear if anybody who replied to my tweet is lurking in the stream, this is no offense, but it, it's really intimidating when I, you know, I just say, I'm, you know, I, I make a comment about like, oh crap, I should probably replace these because it's all like Knuckles emotes for the follower stuff. And then, uh, yeah, go for it. Go for it. Uh, go ahead and tag me in it. And then uh, I also have like, I don't have any emotes for like tier one, two and three subs, specifically tier one subs. I don't really care about two, two and three. Um, So I need to figure all that stuff out. And I immediately was getting followed and DM'd by people. And it's like, it's, it's intimidating. I. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't like that very much, but I understand, you know, people trying to get work or do commission stuff. So makes sense, but I'm going to see if I can go through some friends first and see if they recommend anyone. Cause I know a couple friends that have some really awesome, uh, emotes. So, uh, yeah. So we'll, we'll see about that. And then, um, Anybody see any any of like the videos and stuff on Horizon uh, Forbidden West? Like, if you any of you have seen that, like that game is, oh my god! It makes me wish that I had a PS5 like in my hands right now. I could hook it up and buy Horizon and play it because it is a beautiful looking game. Like, holy shit! I would totally play the hell out of it. Like, I would get lost in that game just because of how good it looks and how. Like I've played a little bit of uh, of Horizon Zero Dawn, and that game plays pretty well. I like it. It's just, oh man, I just want to like get lost in that kind of world. Also, Ratchet and Clank's on PS5. Yes, that game is also on PS5, and it looks fantastic as well. I love the different options that you can have. So you can either go like, um, either higher higher fidelity graphics. I'm not sure if that's the proper term. Like you can have better looking textures and stuff, higher resolution, or you can have a higher higher frame rate, which is always going to be my thing. I'll play 60 FPS. And then you have like a hybrid mode, which is pretty sick. I like the idea that they added a hybrid mode where it can look really nice with ray tracing, but also have the high frame rate. I want an Xbox Series X someday. Me too. I have a lot of Xbox games and they would all benefit really well from a Series X upgrade. So once we can... If they're ever in stores, I, I gotta keep an eye out for them. I see like the Series S, but I don't want that because physical collection, you know, that would all get left behind if I have to go to Series X. Uh, if I have to go to Series S, all of my physical games get left behind and I have to start repurchasing games. It's just too much money to spend. I save more just by using all of the games that I already own and then have a Series X. But yeah, and Game Pass too. Yeah, Game Pass is awesome. 
We're losing a couple of games from Game Pass this month, though. Uh, Control and... Was it Toho? Uh, Luna Knights? Like, those two I know for sure, because those were the two that I noticed right away. Uh, also because Luna Knights is like a really good, difficult uh, Metroidvania. Like, it was much cooler than I gave it credit for. And once I saw... I eventually bought it on Switch because I knew it was going to eventually leave uh, um, Game Pass. And we're now at the point where it's about to leave Game Pass this month. So, rip. Uh, What else? I guess we didn't really go... I didn't go into the whole Nintendo... I, I know... How long has it been since the Nintendo Direct? Like, a couple days? It's been. It feels like it's been almost a week or something. <laughs> it feels that long ago. Um... And I didn't really gauge that much of an answer. I didn't really ask that much. But what were you the most excited for from that Nintendo Direct? I know it's been a while. Uh, it's been a couple days since that happened. But what were you excited for? Tetris Effect and Connected seems to stay. If you ever want to uh, go around, let me know. I'll be sure to let you know. Uh, I'll have to download it and get some practice in. Klonoa? Oh, Klonoa looks so cool. I've never played Klonoa. But um, a friend of mine had did like a whole like review marathon on like the Klonoa series. And I would love to see it. I would love to, like, play it. Because <laughs> it, it looked really cool. And I'm always down for a good platforming game. Knack 4. Uh, no, we're talking about games that actually matter. <laughs> uh, Salmon Run is back. Salmon Run? Oh! Oh, Splatoon 3. Yeah, okay. I was like, what the heck is Salmon Run? Okay, yeah, now I know what you're talking about. Also, Mario Strikers. That one came out by surprise. Like, I was not expecting a Mario Strikers. Uh, but, like, them bringing back Mario Strikers. So, and and it's going to have online play. So, hopefully that online is really good. EXO? Yeah, EXO. <laughs> I've, known, I've known that guy for a long time. Of course, the Mario Kart 8 D uh, Deluxe DLC. Yeah, I'm, I'm down to see what they bring. Um... I was only really big on like Super Mario Kart, so if they bring any more, I, they're gonna bring more stuff from it. It's just they gotta translate it into the Mario Kart 8 playstyle, where you can also do like the, uh, what do you call it, the gliding and the diving. So if they can do that, that'd be cool. Get one of the Koopa Beach levels. Wonder who's developing Strikers. I'm pretty sure it's not Camelot because Super Rush. Let's find out. Uh, and again, there's going to be tracks from Tour, which was gliding already. Yeah, um, 7, 8, and Tour all had gliding. Uh, oh wait, no, that's, <laughs> that's the first game. Uh... Yeah, it says, uh, Next Level Games. I don't know who they are. What have they worked on? So, Next Level worked on uh, NHL Hits Pro, The Suffering. Uh, they did work on it. Uh, Super Mario Strikers, Mario Strikers Charged. I am... So, they're coming back for the new games. The, the same developers for Luigi's Mansion 3 is going to be working on the Mario Strikers. And Mario Strikers developers are all... It's the same team. I wonder if it's the same people, though. That's the thing. Is it the same people? Because you can have the same team name, Sonic Forces, and not have all of the same people there. Sonic Forces. <laughs> it's like, oh, from the team that brought you Generations and Sonic Colors, or whatever it was. And it was just like, well, technically, they, it wasn't everyone. It was just like a handful of people, or maybe one person or something. It wasn't the full team. Like, people had eventually left.
It's gonna be a Disney Kart racer. Yeah, I saw that. It was weird. And like, is it doing like a free-to-play model or something? Because it, 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 I don't know. It just seems really off. You know, it's odd. I don't know. That's gonna be a bizarre one. The rest of the direct was kind of mad, in my opinion, especially the Earthbound stuff they announced. Yeah, I would have preferred to see a, a collection of one, two, and three for the mother games, but. No, we get uh, Earthbound, Earthbound Beginnings, which, I mean, that's cool. At, at the very least, Earthbound Beginnings doesn't look like absolute ass when you emulate it now. Like, it looks sharp and everything. Rather than looking blurry and having all of the uh, anti-flicker things in place, although I believe some of that's still around. The continuation of Wii Sports and Nintendo Switch Sports. Yeah, and also we're going to get, like, an online test, which... Um, that might be streamed. I might stream that if, uh, if the test, if that online test is on one of the days that I stream, I'll do it. I was excited that Earthbound is coming. Earthbound is here. Like, it is here right now. I could boot up Earthbound right now. Might be the one person in the world who hates M Mother 3. I've never played it. I have the, um, I have the translated version of it. So, I've never played it. Like, I've played Earthbound all the way until I got all the way to Foreside, and then um, because I was using piece of crap Retron 5, it corrupted my save file because it doesn't know how to be a good emulation uh, system. Then I got the Super Nintendo Classic. Didn't really touch the game much, but now I have it on Switch. I can play it in 1080p. It's going to look really good. And then for Mother 1, I've never played it before. And then Mother 3, I can play on my DS because I can. If you switch between screens and Dr. Mario menus. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to uh, be like an anti-epilepsy measure that they're taking. So good on them for that. But um, I think they went a little overkill with like the Wii U uh, emulation because it made the game look terrible. Like it looks super blurry. Even I could show you an example right now. Watch. Um... We'll bring up this screen. I know I have Kirby playing right now, but watch this. Uh, so I can go to where is it at? Oh, by the way, I got a I got a physical card of uh, Undertale. <laughs> so this is what the emulation quality you get out of the Wii U. Where is it at? I have a lot of games on my Switch. There it is. Fire Emblem. So, I think when... When you first play the game, it looks... Dang it. How do I reset? Okay. I was not aware of the menu for this, so... They did translate Mother 3 themsel themselves. Uh, so, this is what it looks like on... It's very similar to, like, Wii U emulation where the text is not that sharp, the game looks a lot dimmer, it doesn't look that great. And then uh, it's also, you know, four by three. How do you open the menus? Uh, L and R. I was not aware, um, I didn't know I could even do that. I found that out by complete accident. You change it to pixel perfect, still doesn't look great. It's still pretty dark. The text is kind of blurry a little bit. Like if you really look into it, like if you go like this, Kind of do that. Notice it's a little blurry, like a little blurrier than it should be. But if you go into, do I have the Famicom? Okay, let me open up the Famicom really quick. I have too many games. <laughs> Got to give it a minute to boot up. If you go to Famicom and it's on pixel perfect mode, so exactly like the other one. Fire Emblem is on Famicom NSO. Yes, it is. You can see the sword is a little sharp, a, a little brighter. It's sharper. It looks a little better. Probably doesn't look as great through OBS because it's not. Or I could also do that. There we go. Like it's it's a little brighter. It's a little sharper. Oh, whoops! Didn't mean to do that. I meant to. Meant to double tap. I could go in, 
Text is still not great, but it is what it is. But it's like one of those things you can kind of tell because the everything is already like a little bit brighter, closer to what it's normally emulated at uh, with NSO. But if you go with something like um, if you go with the version, well, you can't really get it now. But if you go with uh, right, if you go with this version of it, then you're gonna have that darker screen. You're gonna have that blurry emulate. It's gonna look not great. It looks just like Wii U emulation. And that was the problem that we had with um, Earthbound Beginnings. Pixel Perfect is an integer scale, right? Yeah, it should be. Unless they screwed it up and like, oh, 720p only. Because um, if you go to Earthbound Beginnings, you get this. It's a lot sharper, or it, it's a little sharper. It's a lot cleaner. It's a lot brighter. Because if you've seen what the Wii U emulation looks like, NES emulation on Wii and Wii U looks terrible. It would be like blurry, it would be dimmed down, it wouldn't look nice. So this is the one thing I'm really glad for, even though I would prefer a collection of Mother 1, 2, and 3, is just the fact that we get a cleaner looking version of Earthbound Beginnings. It's the only thing I'm going to praise it for. So I guess since I'm already on this screen, I'm just going to... We're going to cut the music, I'm going to go right back into Kirby, and then uh, we'll wrap up the game. So we could do that. I'm just surprised I had so much to say. <laughs> Play this in the GBA remake. I have not, I have yet to play the GBA remake, but I've played this one other time before and I like it. It's got a couple issues with it, but it's like minor stuff. Though I'm probably going to be really rusty as we play this because it's been like what uh, a week or two since I played like the first half of the game. So we'll see how it goes. Also, tr uh, Troop Master Brandon, welcome. I'm going to check. One thing really quick, and then we'll hop right, we'll get started with the game. Okay. We can get started. There's like an all stars treatment for this. Really? That's pretty cool. So this is where I'm at right now. They show off every copy ability here. I never waited for this to play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they. I guess they do. <laughs> and this is as far as I made it. All right, I gotta get used to the game. Oh my god. Slowdown's getting nuts. No. No shooting. No shooting. I'm glad you countered that because I wanted this. Holy. Right, I have to jump or something. Oh, sh no, that's a bad idea. Eh, okay. You can't block Kirby's big suck, though. <laughs> Apparently, the first letters of each stage spell out V-I-V. 
E-G-Y-O-R. That's unusual. Oh! Uh, well, so much for that. Wait, that's a freeze ability, isn't it? Oh, it's ice. I get ice beam. And I think that's the end of the level. Something good? Damn. Roy G B I D backwards. That I don't understand what that is. That's still making no sense to me. Frame perfect trick to fight on the boss on the boss fights by accident. Uh, what is this uh, frame frame perfect trick? You uh, you want to tell me? Nah, you don't have to tell me. It's all fine. I can learn how to play the game. I, I, I can play the video game. I, I'm good at playing video games sometimes. You know, taking this... You know what? Taking the ice ability is probably a really good idea. Red... Oh, the colors of the rainbow. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't thinking colors. Oh, well, the last time I did think colors, I was sorely disappointed. I was fighting a boss one day and paused the game when I spat something at a boss. Then I unpaused and the boss was dead. I was like, what just happened? Oh, there's a pause trick in this game. Well, you know how we feel about pause tricks around here. Go for it. <laughs> You're ultimately disappointed. I hate that. I hate that so much because it's so true. I hate how true it is. Oh, I need health. I am going to die if I keep this up. I'll go with the hammer. Perfect. I think the first Kirby game to have pause screen lore is Return to Dreamland. Oh, okay. Oh my god, I missed it so badly. Okay then, fine. Okay, are you serious? That's how close to the end I was. Can I get a one-up? Of course not. I was on the very last room and I die. I always found the tornado spin ball abilities to be a little underrated because they kill bosses in a matter of seconds. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's true. Let's see how effective they are when I can get to it. What am I doing? Just fly. So I have the high jump now. Holy crap, that flight is good. I'm gonna try to stick with the flight or the high jump for as long. Screw it, I'm just gonna roll.
Well, that made this, this level easy. I, I take that back. I felt like this game was going to do that, and it did anyways. You have to roll with it now. <laughs> yep, got to roll with the punches. Oh, what's in here? Oh, shoot, no! How do I go back? What? <laughs> that was a trick. Uh. Okay, I press the button right away. That's how it works. Got through it. Did not mean to slide and did not mean to make that look as cool as it did. Uh, uh, I don't like this. That's specifically why I didn't like it. Enough for a one. It's never enough. Are you a sucker for alliteration? I like it. <laughs> I mean, it's cool. I like when I like when they get creative with the names like this. That is an egg. Press the buttons to make Kirby's mouth open. Try to eat eggs, but not bombs. only worked so for so long. I think they wanted you to use the parasol ability. Probably. Oh, fireball. Let's go. Ah. I hate that thing. Can I fireball my way through? Yes, I can. <laughs> no. Okay. Getting a little too close to the spikes on that one. Oh, Meta Knight. This one might have been made a little too easy. No. Right there. Right up. No. I barely clipped it. Okay, cool. Not as difficult. UFO. Oh, the UFO? I don't think I have... I think I found the UFO in one of the previous uh, worlds, but I haven't used it. As much as I probably should. slowdown just really screwed me over like I thought I had more than a, I thought I was able to like run and get that but I guess not 
guess I could take the safe way and just fly over everything and watch as the frame rate cuts in half, or the game speed cuts in half. Oh, once you beat a stage, you lose it? Oh, that's a shame. Look at that expert swimmer right there. Oh, you... Uh, and it's a shame because I can't use my sword ability as I do this. Oh, this is ridiculous. That room will just throw everything at you and see uh, see if you make it out. <laughs> I didn't like that last room. Everything else was fine. <laughs> Tornado should be a good one. Let's just break the... I think I just went through everything at once. Return to Dreamland, it's busted. Tornado can be OP. <laughs> we'll see if I can have it long enough to fight a boss. You can't be serious. What? I can be caught like that. That's so stupid. Guess I'll go with the one that has the distance. Oh my god. What do you have? Oh, you have a fireball. Okay. What's is there anything up here? No, okay. I think it's like anytime I try anything, I'm hitting diagonal as well. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. The hip. The hip. Like I. It's like I swear, I barely clipped. I, I barely clipped the floor and, and I die for it. It's like I barely clipped the floor and I get taken out of it, so I um so I just get hurt. Oh that's so cheap. Yeah, the tornado would have been great for this area.
okay game jump. <sighs> Stop doing that. Slow down screwing over every input I could, put, could potentially go for. Is this the sun and no. Okay, good. For a second, I thought it was another uh, the of that sun and moon level or boss. Wait, what if I? Oh, that's the end of the level. Okay. Sub button is on desktop. Okay, sweet. Well, now I know that. Ridiculous at times. Sure, whatever. Those stupid blocks are gonna come back. How do I actually get through this? I need something that's gonna let me, like, go through. Can't make it through that. Wait, the sword. It was this way. Perfect. The sword might be it. For the love of God, game, really? Did you have to del- so, this game, it takes like a moment for you to get your attack out, and it will cost you every single time. No, this will not get me through. Wow. Kind of sucks. Alright, whatever, I'm ready to... Hmm. Stone or hammer? It's probably hammer. And I don't have it. Oh, it could be stone, actually. So, you know what? I'll come back. We'll come back to this. Am I going to get a 1-up? I think I just... I'm going to run out of 1-ups. Uh, I don't want to do this level. I don't want to do that level again. Oh, Jesus. Done. <laughs> Reminds me a little bit of this boss. Yeah, oh, I, I think I know what you're talking about. I've seen it before. I've never played that uh, that game, but I know exactly which one you're talking about. Want a secret on how to get 30 extra lives? How do I do this? Oh, shoot. Did not mean to go into a level, but sure. Out. <sighs> Another boss that does this? Are you kidding me? 
And now I'm just, I'm stuck. This is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, game. That's exactly what I did. I gave myself up in one hit. Can I get out of here? No. On the goal game, seven reach seven six five four three two one in that order. Oh, that's fuck off. There's no way I'm gonna be able to fight that thing. I swear to God, this game. <laughs> Maybe I don't like Kirby's uh, adventure that much, because holy shit, I have never been screwed over just by the game itself this badly. Yeah, and it's got an ability I can't use. We're killing bosses, but not really in the sumo bosses. Yeah, the sumo bosses are kind of bullshit. Like, I would need the fireball. Oh my god, that frame rate. Frame rate is. Holy. Wait, what's this? That's a stone item, isn't it? Uh. Can I stop bouncing like that? Shit. Oh my god, this bounce is stupid. That bounce is gonna get me killed. So you're so to get extra lives, I have to hit every single one of those. I no, I'm not interested in that. That's just way too. It's ridiculous. There's an opening to attack him, but it's really tight. Yeah, but this game's controls are not really in your favor. Like when there's a lot happening on screen, you have to you have to like account for the slowdown, and the slowdown can be the easiest thing to screw you over. And if you fall from too high of a... I hate those things. If it gets you to 30 once, you still get one extra life at one. Uh, yeah, but it's a lot of work just to just to get 30 extra lives. Because then you have to be able to actually get them. Oh my god. Oh, fuck off. Stupid explosion thing is going to be there, isn't it? Whatever. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I'm going to go for that. Um, again, a little too out there. Because if I have to get it in that order, I'm assuming I'm going to have to get it like all in one go, and I can't miss once.
Cool. I think really just disappear on me. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding? Oh. Come on. What the shit? That was like per a perfect opportunity to get it, and no, the game's just like, actually, no, you. I hate the delay in this game so much. This game has found so many cheap ways just to make me uh, take hits. I've had so many, like, things that I could have done in this game that have been all delayed by this nonsense. Get good. <laughs> Great JPEG. <laughs> you really don't want to stick around here, do you? Ah, it's just... The freaking... The freaking slowdown of the game is just shit. Now I remember why I didn't care for this game. God, Jesus fucking Christ. Cool, and I don't have that now. Because when the game slows down, it decides to throw everything at you. Oh, God. It is the single thing that I hate in, that I hate from this game. When past the NES limitations. Yeah, I forgot we're in an age where that's considered a good thing. Uh, when people talk about shitty ass Sonic and Link. Oh, Jesus. This is probably a bad one to use. Yeah. Climb the ladder. That's all I want. Climbing the ladder. Go through the door. Why did everything need to be mapped up? It's a very... Hey, Damien! Damien, thank you so much for the 20 bits! Might just be me, but I would prefer the a GBA NSO service over the Sega uh, Genesis games being re-released over and over again. Yeah, I really wish we had that, but... I don't know, I guess some people are content with just having re-released content. Like, I get that the uh, Genesis uh, emulation in that collection... Like, I get that it sucks, but it's like... Why did we need NSO to have decent emulation? Why couldn't we get that in the first place? But it always seems like that's an afterthought. We're just like, oh, well, new games, even though they're not really new, they've been re-released over and over again, with the exception of, like, Musha. Might just be me, though. Plus, why have Sonic 2 when it's going to be on Origins? And the fact that it's already on their Nintendo Switch, uh, or the Sega Ages collection, uh, games. Like, there's a Sega Ages version already, And then there's also a, um, like, it's on Sega Ages. It's already on a collection that they have, and then they re-release it again. So when Origins, if it ever releases, because we have not heard a word about it. Seriously, Sega Ages has kind of gone AWOL. Which leads me to one thing. Development is not going well for it. Emulation, a lot more recent, have been pretty mediocre emulation, plus sound-wise. Yeah, so why did we need, why did we need, like, Nintendo Switch Online to have, like, 
better emulated games. Mostly for Genesis. Like, for N64, it makes sense. It hasn't been, like, their emulation hasn't been great. But for, like, Genesis stuff, kind of screws over people who bought the other collections. It's like, oh, now we finally have good emu- or good enough emulation. Which is kind of a slap in the face. I think I was supposed to get to that in time. Hey, Jimmy Duke, thank you so much for the 7 bits. Oh, and the 22 bits. Forgot to add a 7 <laughs> to your message. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, don't know if I would risk getting that. Oh, God, this is loaded. I think if I... Right, I need a way to get through that. I don't know if I want to come back to that. I, I'll just do this. Wait a minute. I'm. I, I just had an idea. Well, the idea was there. Really don't get why a lot of these collections have such low quality emulation. Because I'm sure the Genesis is not all hard to emulate, unlike the N64. Exactly. Like. N64 emulation makes a lot of sense because even like even like the best emulators have their issues with it. Like none of the emulation uh, solutions that they have for Genesis are perfect. But for Genesis is like or not Genesis for N64 like none of it's perfect. But for Genesis is like but we have all these solutions here. Like you can either have an emulator that is accurate, you can have one that's compatible with everything. You, ha you don't have a lack of options. So why do we need the Genesis again? Fuck off! Oh my god. This game is so cheap. Can I get a fucking... I don't like Kirby's adventure anymore. This game is shit when, with its slowdown. And it's like all the time. Emulator for Kega is like Kega. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, I. Yeah, maybe I don't need to go into a Kirby marathon. I'll play the new Kirby game, but I, I do not ever want to come back to this. I think once I'm done with this, uh, with this game, I, I can put Kirby's Adventure away for until I'm ready to make those videos. But oh boy, are those videos gonna be very. They're not going to be great, like, they're not going to be positive at all. The Kirby games get better after this. And you know what's funny? Kirby's Dreamland did... What was that? Of course. Like, Kirby's Dreamland did a better job with its slowdown. Like, it wasn't so egregious to where it would get in the way. Like, it was still there, but it wasn't so bad that... It, that's gonna hurt. Okay, cool. Like, it wasn't so bad that it got you killed it, or made you take unnecessary damage. That was a wall? This game sucks. I, I don't like... I like the first half of this game. The, the second half of this game... I, no. I'll play anything else over the second half of this game. Also, how does your sword swing get like... What the fuck? Favorite copy uh, ability across every main platforming Kirby game? Um, probably Backdrop or Suplex. I don't know, those ones are fun. 
The sword one is like very useful, except for in this game for some reason it has it has a shorter length when or a shorter reach when you jump in the air. Uh, I think either spark or ice or spark or freeze are pretty broken. So there's some pretty decent one. Uh, Superstar is a completely different game though. How how does? I mean, I get that it fixes it. Actually, wait, no, it does have some slowdowns in some areas, but. Speaking of freeze, I actually like using freeze. It's fun. Because you can just kick them like that. Hey, he dropped the Knuckles name. Yep, I did. I uh, dropped it about a month ago. New brand, new... Uh, well, not being stuck to Sonic. That's pretty much the only upside to it. But yeah, welcome. How you doing today? Yeah, oh yeah, they give him like the cap so he he's basically Link. Okay, you know what? I do like the sort of ability for that, like this game. Oh my god, let me get up. That was a real thing this game did. It pushed it I couldn't even control myself uh, when I was bouncing, so I went so far back that I lost all that progress. So as you can tell, I'm not having fun with uh, with uh, Kirby's adventure. The slowdowns get me killed way too much. Yeah, the fun enemy placement as well. Well, we haven't dropped the Knuckles icons yet. I I'm working on that. I'm going to reach out to people and see if I can have uh, some emotes and some badges designed because I don't know how to do it myself. Like, it's one thing to do like a stream layout, which it's like the most basic thing I can do. But when it's like actually designing emotes and stuff, I, I'm not an artist, so that is out of my. Uh... That is that is out of my uh, range or whatever. It's like not something I can do. Oh, right. I needed to bring this all the way here. Okay. Oh, my God. Uh, why the hell is... This, this cannon's stupid. Yeah, I, I current. I was liking everything up until now. Thank goodness. Oh, and that was for the bonus one. I'll take it. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Kirby Superstar is worst enemy placement. Yeah, it, it does in some areas. And the level's over. Crap. Uh, what would you say is worse, this or Lost Levels? Um, it's a little different because I've played Lost Levels to the point where I understand how to like go through it. And with Kirby games, I don't have as much experience with them, so I'm, of course, not going to enjoy Kirby as much. Hold on, I'm going through a fire... Let me take Spark. I like this one more. Isn't there a movie studio that has this as, like, its design? I know there is. There should be. Oh, the NES version of Lost Levels. Oh my god, I am trying to... Screw it, we're gonna backdrop these suckers. Uh, 
Well, so much for that. I mean, I got it to work. It's a shame they don't let you take the UFO ability outside this level. Uh, would you want to live on Planet Popstar, or Popstar if it was always peaceful? Yeah, probably. I mean, if everybody if everybody looked like these characters, that... wasn't holding up. Oh, screw you. Hey, Sonic Jason, how's it going? Game they don't... Oh, yeah, that's right. I already read that. <laughs> eh. You can't be serious. Just me or this is game of fuck off. Is it, is it just me or is this game getting a little cheap? Uh, do you think you'll be able to get through the rest of the game on this stream? Probably. Yeah, more than likely. I mean, I feel like I can. It's just going to take a, a lot. Uh, see if I can tornado. I'm going to go back and grab a power-up. Oh, and the thing is that it's not going to really matter that much because I need, like, I need health. figure out where I can get health really fast, so I might have to go all the way back to the first level, or the first world. Or like a... Okay, I swear I turned to... Hmm. More of a fault if it's slowed down? Yeah, I guess so. That is true. Yeah, I feel like just throwing me in with uh, one piece of health is a little much. Really could have used, like, a place to restore health. I'm only going all the way... I'm going all the way back to the first level just so that way I can... Oh. There we go. Ultra Instinct Jordan, welcome. How are you doing? Yeah, there we go. Uh, just going all the way to level one. Wait a minute. You can crane game. Ooh, that might not be it. Get some extra lives while we're at it.
that should do it. Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, actually? Come on. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, of course you would do that. I think the crane game in Link's Awakening is a little fairer than this. How did I get full health? That move is so broken. Yeah, I was like, wait, hold on, I'm at max HP. I think when I did the crane game, it brought me to max HP. That's all I wanted. That was really all I was looking for, was max HP. What happened to the other warp stars? Maybe it fills out as a consolation prize. You might be right on that one. Maybe I need to use a button. Oh, yeah, that's right. You know what? Yeah, you might be onto something there. I believe after this is the last world, so not even going that far into. Oh, that's right, I forgot. I was like, wait, hold on, how am I over an, almost at an hour and a half? Forgot. Did a lot of talking earlier. Oh, uh, I only get a sword? Oh, Meta Knight, that's right. He was unmasked. He was on without a mask. <laughs> um, I'm gonna press a button for the warp zones. Okay. I th then I missed the ones in the other. Oh God, the flickering on that one. I'm sorry for your eyes. What what happens if you try to discard the sword ability from Meta Knight? Uh, we can find out. No, we can't. Okay, then. Dang, could have used that one up. Oh, well. That doesn't destroy anything? Wow, okay. Actually, I want... Fine, I'll go with fire. I wanted spark, but I'll go with fire. Let's put him to settling on anything that's useful. Wait. Slowdown is absolutely nuts in this game.
Uh, I'm... This is terrible. <laughs> Oh, that's just so I can go get the ability. Oh, fuck yourself. Oh, I have to... I think I have to fight... Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can get the... Why, Why is my traction, like, so... Perfect. Got it right there. You can't be serious. Check the artwork showing your copy ability. Yeah, it's so cool. Antu would be so mad if he saw his stream. I, well, I don't know what to tell him. I mean, I don't know what I would tell him. It's like, sorry, I don't worship Kirby. I don't know. Again, I doubt he would be cringe and back and like do the whole backseat gaming thing. I feel like he's that kind of YouTuber that would understand. It's like, okay, it's not for everyone. Makes sense. You know what I mean? I met a lot of people who are like that, where it's like, oh, he's not really into the game. All right, well, at least he's giving it a shot. You know? And there's some Kirby games that I do like. I like the first Dreamland. I think that game is awesome. It's more simple than this, but... Like, it's a really cool one-hour... Just an, a really cool hour, hour and a half game, depending on how good you are. Obviously joking around. No, you know what you need to send it to? You need to send it to like a, a sub, like a, not a subreddit, a Discord server. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I was stuck there for too long. Planet Robobot. I thought about buying it. Uh, I'm... I need to start, like, actually buying Kirby games now. Only because, like, some of the older ones are getting a bit steep in price. Like, I can't... I, I'm not even gonna get, like, US versions of the, uh... of the Game Boy games. I'm just gonna buy Japanese copies of them. That's only because they're you can get them for like thirty bucks for um, Okay, well never mind. I'm just gonna keep going then. GBA remakes uses DDD themes for the mini boss tower. Oh I like that theme though. I see that as a win. Like, I really like DDD's theme, so... I don't know. I think it's cool. But this is fine. Really wish it was the GPA NSO service. Uh, let's just say I have a way of playing Game Boy Advance games that uh, does, doesn't require it. Yes, it's exactly what you think it is. Oh, f I forgot about this. I want whatever you have. I want. Oh, you gotta throw. I'm gonna yeet some motherfuckers. <laughs> Oh, that's actually pretty bad. Actually, not a great idea for this. <sighs> Let's 
Let's go. I think if you have a controller that's a little sensitive on the diagonal inputs, it might not be ideal for this game. Who needs to swallow someone when you can yeet them? That was the whole idea, but I don't think it's going to go through, and I think I'm going to get a game over, actually. Fuck! Oh my god. How do I dodge this thing? It just caught me right away. This game... That boss is bullshit. That... That's some bullshit. And I got a game over. Like the Switch Pro? Yeah, unfortunately. I have a Switch Pro controller, so I have to... I'm stuck with the sensitive diagonal input. Oh, am I... Okay, cool. This game shows mercy. Alright, well... I'll give it that. It gives me an infinite amount of continue, so I can't be too annoyed by that. Like, I'll give the game credit. But yeah, uh, what I was saying is that I, I need to get my hands on, like, all the Game Boy Color games for Kirby that I don't have. Uh, or the Game Boy and Game Boy Color games that I don't have, like, uh, was it Star Stacker or something like that? Only because, uh... That's probably gonna do nothing. Oh, shoot! Yeah, that works. Joy-Cons are garbage. Yeah, they're even worse. But... I'll say this, for like the majority of games that I have... The majority of games I have, this is pretty good. Uh, there are some games where diagonal inputs are, are required, or, like, you need to be a bit more careful with them, when it doesn't really benefit me too much. Man, I could really use the sword right about now. I'm not going to be able to go far. Okay, cool game. You want to fucking let me go? Shit. Who was that? Hey, Dam Damien, thank you so much for the 20 bits. I think a Nintendo IP mobile game that would make... Fence is like a sequel to Kirby's Tilt and Tumble. Just Nintendo, please don't put a shit ton of microtransactions in the game. I'm surprised they haven't done Tilt, Tilt and Tumble like a mobile version of it. That seems like it would it would work. Like there's a couple of games that seem like they would just work no matter what, and that's one of them. What is this? What does it say? Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy Duke, thanks so much. <laughs> Take first place back. <laughs> also, my stream... Oh, God. Yep. Stupid delay. With that, I'm out of bits. Oh, no. <laughs> Competition came to an end. So I don't mean like in-game delay, it's just... Holy shit! Maybe there is input delay, I don't know, maybe it's... Is it that bad for this game? Because holy shit, I swear I was jumping, what the fuck? 
Like, I was just trying to jump over this guy because it's, it's easy to do. I don't have to, like... Like, I don't really need to do anything to jump over it, but for some reason, like, playing now just makes it a freaking challenge. Oh, I see what I have to do. And I get caught. No, are you shitting me? I'm gonna be here. The this is where I'm gonna end up st stuck at, huh? Fuck off. I hate. It only makes sense when I can. And he catches me so fucking easily. Fuck you. Has very noticeable delay. Oh, that's just wonderful to know. It's a shame because this is the controller I use for everything. It's like I thought these were like amazing control. Maybe I need to update it or something. Because I know you could do that, but I hope it's not where I hope it's not where um. What do you call it? My... I, I used to have, like, the Power A controllers that were wireless. It's like, I hope those weren't, like, more accurate or, like, had less delay. Not more accurate, but had less delay because that would be embarrassing. If a third-party but licensed product can do better than this. When this is supposed to be the Pro Controller, it's supposed to be, like, the premium one. Oh, what the fuck. Coming back to Tilt and Tumble, really similar to actual mobile games, that's why I think it would work really well. Yeah, and also, like, there's, like, Game Boy emulators that have, like, oh. this. There are some, uh, Game Boy Color, there's a Game Boy Color emulator that has, like, really good, uh, motion control. And that's, like, Probably the preferred way to play, uh, to play Tilt and Tumble. Come on. This game needs to just stop. <laughs> this is getting, like, absurd. Of course, I can't throw anything without it hitting something. game has been kind of an exercise in frustration. Like, how frustrated can this game make me? <sighs> okay. Yeah, good. yes, thank goodness they gave me a tomato, because that... Did not look like it was going to be doable. Gyro in a room. Apparently Fortnite is improving their gyro controls. Yeah, uh, I think with the PS5 controllers, you can do the gyro movement now. I still don't use it. Oh my god, stop pressing up. I swear. This thing... This is a terrible power-up. What does this even do? Oh, it's supposed to... It hurts. Perfect. 
its bogus ability. All right. Perfect. I really wish the tornado could break blocks. I know it would make it a little overpowered, but like this game does a lot to this game's got a lot of cheap shots that it takes. Let's see, it gives Kirby a well-needed nap. All the good boys need their sleep, you know. True. Very true. It's already overpowered. Yeah, but it could be like a little more overpowered, you know. Yeah, just a little more overpowered, you know, knock out some of the uh fuck off. Oh my god, no. too early yeah okay imagine of kirby in the forgotten land you actually be in a pillow when you use in sleep <laughs> that'd be pretty sweet and then when you uh when you have it like fully upgraded it's just like a, a full house oh my god how the fuck did i get that close challenge and that was a level Oh my god, it's... Okay. They really want you to get crash. <laughs> oh yeah, what was your reaction to the new thing they revealed about Forgotten Land? Yeah, the mouthful mode. Um, it's incredibly cursed. I mean, it's pretty funny, but incredibly cursed. Whatever, this is a better power up every way. Like, that was better in every way, Fireball. How the hell am I supposed to do that? Come on! Fucking jump! Shit! Yeah, this is a terrible ability. I don't know... Whatever. Yeah, no, that, that was just... That was shit. Like, I, I swear, the slowdown is just getting worse and worse in this game.
barely even used the laser in the entire game. Yeah, I can see why I would barely use it. There's... Like, what's the point? I don't even remember what button to press. I don't know about that one, but okay. I was too off. Okay, so confirmed. Uh, getting going through any of the mini games re recovers all of your health. Oh, I didn't think I went this far back. Okay. Oh, gee, I wonder what this is. A game that I enjoy a lot more than than Kirby's Adventure. But then again, it's a lot shorter, so... Uh, if only I could shoot lasers upwards. Yeah, this is not a very good power-up. I'd rather not with this one. I do think it's cool that they take bits of, like, every level, and they just throw it in- oh, shh. I mean, I- I mean, I could could have sworn that I made it, but whatever game, whatever you want to believe. At this point, I think... Oh my god, I swear I fucking turned around. I thought the game was like, no, you're not going through any of that. Pretty sure this is the third level. I think this is the third one, right? Although I remember uh, playing the original game and not knowing what I was doing wrong when I saw this. I'm like, I don't get it. <laughs> Didn't know I wasn't supposed to uh, inhale them. Okay. Yeah, Clouds is the fourth one. Parasol? No, I don't. I'll take Cutter. Just so... Oh, I forgot. I think there was like a... There was a thing I found out that was like apparently every moon has like a... Has a secret door. I assume this is the NES version. Yes, I know what you're gonna say. Play the 3DS version. I don't have my 3DS like all set up and ready because... I've never tested the audio for it. You can eat that.
But yeah, I never got my uh, 3DS uh, capture set up for audio. I'm sure I can capture video, no problem. It's just the audio that's my biggest concern. Because if I can't get, like, decent audio out of it, or if I can't get any audio, then it's going to be really annoying to, uh, to stream. Like, wait, did this game just... For a second, I thought the game just got rid of my... Turn around, Kirby, I swear to God. <laughs> don't do it. No, don't do it. Oh, no. <laughs> Kirby Star Stacker for SNES. I thought that was, um, I thought Star Stacker was a, uh, a Game Boy game. I could have sworn it was. I don't know, anytime I saw it. Maybe it's the enhanced version, because I know there is an enhanced version of one of those games. Oh, I think I took damage. All right, hang on. I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at that in just a moment. Ooh, okay, that was not good. When did that do like a cross pattern? Whatever. Shit. Ooh, this isn't good. This is really not good. Okay, did that. Sweet. Uh, Damien, thank you so much for the five bits. Look at that sweet parallax scrolling. It's pretty nice. Well, no NES title, but it did have an SNES version. No, 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 I meant, I meant Game Boy, not NES. Oh, do I have to do the whole... Ooh, sorry. Do I get my life? Do I get my health back, or am I stuck on one? No, it is not going to leave me at. You can't be serious. It leaves me at one health, so I got to do all of that in one go. Okay, never mind. I take it back. Uh, what? Where's my opening? I can't get off the ground. Stop in stop inhaling Kirby. I can't get off the ground when it lags.
it feels so weird when it lags like hell. Like, it's hard to describe how it feels like when the game starts lagging. Or when it starts uh, having the slowdown. Because it feels like I can't be, like, accurate with my movement. And I might end up having to do this one more. Okay. I think I can sort of get this. All he's got to do is do the spinning thing. That's probably... Fuck. That was a cheap shot. Basically going through the same frames, but slower it causes inputs... Less inputs from being accepted. Yep. That's my huge problem with this game. And it's a persistent problem. Ooh, got the first hit. All right. I can only do one hit at a time. Alright, understood. You got way too close to me. Oh, got him! Okay, sweet. Alright, I think I have an idea of how to fight him now. Nightmare in Dreamland? Oh shit, I jumped too soon. Hope I hit him. Yeah, that one. Oh, shit. I actually hit him. Okay, cool. Alright then, sweet. I thought he was going to get me with like an off... <laughs> just kind of go for broke on something, but... Hey, we broke part of the moon. Sweet. <laughs> uh, Yeah, it was kind of like a remake on Game Boy Advance. Unless I buy the Wii U version, I don't have a proper way of uh, playing it on stream right now. I mean, I, I could emulate, but my controller, my PC controller is nowhere around here. A nightmare came to the Dream Spring. And tried to cause pain to the people. DDD foiled the nightmare. And... By hiding the star rod from him. Oh, so this was all Kirby's fault for looking for it. He did he help Kirby beat the uh, beat the nightmare? Now everyone's dreams will return. We're not even two hours in. What do we do now? <laughs> Tonight, Dreamland will sleep well. Um. Okay then. Kirby Warp, really? I can see why they call it the Warp Star now. Mario Kart Wii Online? No, something fun, okay. Mario Kart Wii... Uh, I don't even have Mario Kart on Wii. Spider-Man 3? This is why I don't take suggestions. Mario Kart Wii is online is dead, too. Well, I don't even own the game, so... Both are impossible. Sonic Heroes randomized? I'm not interested in Sonic right now. Like, I just... Real talk, don't... I really don't care about Sonic at this point, just because it's, uh... I don't know, got too... Got way too, like... 
annoyed by everything that was going on with it. So that's why I kind of stopped, and a rebrand was in order as well, because burned out on content, burned out on just hearing about Sonic. Tetrio. How about Mario Party? Dreamland 3. Uh, Mario Party, I would need people for that. Like, I have the new Mario Party, it's just I would have to get enough people to do an online game, and I feel like we would need more than a few, we would need a couple hours for that, and I, I don't know. We would need a lot more time for it, because Mario Party is a, it's not a short game. <laughs> Oh well. So yeah, uh, Kirby, um, it's alright, it's just, I really wish the, uh, the slowdown didn't really hurt the gameplay that much, because I swear, like, some of my inputs get eaten up, which is why it, it's why it looked like I was intentionally, like, falling into a pit, or I was taking damage and not attacking anything, it's just... The slowdown makes it harder to tell when I'm actually supposed to press a button because, again, some inputs get eaten up. But yeah. Look at the copy ability saying bye-bye. <laughs> but yeah, that's Kirby's Adventure. We did it. Um, shit, now what do I do? So something like um, playing Mario Party or stuff like that, I feel like I... I, I would need to reserve a day for that, so that way I can get uh, certain people. So I can look for specific people to bring in, uh, so that way we can have like a very entertaining stream or a very like uh, a very um, competitive stream or something like that. And it really depends on what Mario Party, because if it's like oh play one of the older Mario Parties, we'd have to be able to play that through uh, Netplay or whatever. I've seen it done before. And then if it's, like, the new one, then I have to find three people with the new one. Mario Maker 2. Mario Maker 2 is an idea. Metroid, that's another idea. Can we check stuff on return to a complete save file? I... To a finished save file, or...? Like, do I go continued, or, I, or do I go to uh, bonus games? There's a dolphin emulator fork that's designed for Mario Party 1 through 9. I'm... I hate dolphins so... I hate trying to set up dolphins so much. So... And I only have, I think, one of the games for it. I think it's like Mario Party 2. Oh! Oh shit, there's a boss rush. Let's do the boss rush. This is... Oh, this is on zero lives. Okay. I have no idea what happened there. I feel like I need to update my controller or something. <laughs> there is no way it has this much delay or it's this unresponsive. Oh, MP2. Uh, I think I have like four or five. I have one of the Mario Parties on GameCube. Oh. I actually hate this one. Check if the controller's up to date. Actually, yeah, that's great. Uh, if I reset the game, what happens? Okay, so I still have my finished save file. 